hopefully we can find some cool fish, sea turtles, and all that kind of stuff I've already been sharing, but each time I look at it, it's like the first time. just over the top. Giant shed. Holy crap. This thing is heavy, huh? Good night, dude. Fresh. Dang. Dude, that's a giant. Holy smoke. Dude. It's all knobby. That is so sweet. Look at that. Look at that giant. Not as heavy as that other one. It's like it's like you didn't rub the velvet off. Holy cow, that's cool. Long points. A lot of texture, but yeah, like you didn't rub much. It's all sharp still. That is so sweet first really really brown one that I've ever found ah, sweet look at these ones too collecting yeah perfect 
So a right, I for sure have a left. It is, it's the other side because it's it's got the same texture. Dang, dude. That's a score. That's so rad. That's just as cool as getting one to me. You got your buff, buddy. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, man. These are fresh, huh? Look at that. Just barely got done putting that one on the pack. Now we got both sides. Sucker did not go far. Yes! <laughs> That's so bad, dude. I just about stepped on that thing. Dang, dude. That's cool. That's way cool. Look at this second one. Yeah, got my first set of axis deer sheds and they're fresh brown probably haven't been on the ground very long a lot of the bucks are actually still packing but a super nice buck like I don't know if I've seen one that big things were about 50 yards apart maybe 40 not that far I was surprised I didn't think we'd find the other side but scooped them so take those suckers home time to cook some backstrap oh yeah show me the goods oh yeah it's nice and chilly in here that's one of the backstraps look at that meat that meat is gonna be so dang good look at that oh boy well awesome morning uh, hunting axis deer and then to eat some of that one from yesterday was good. So great breakfast actually gonna go spear fishing now. So Just making sure we've got everything and go spear fish for a little bit then I'm gonna go hunt axis deer for the evening So this one's a three prong. Yeah, it's called three prong. And that's an actual spear gun. Yeah. This is the actual sniper tool. That just snipes small fish. Mm -hmm. This can snipe as big as you want to handle, really. <laughs>
Holy crap, this is the funnest trip ever. Spear fishing is more fun than I thought it'd be. I knew it would be fun, but it's even more fun than I thought. It's like hunting underwater. We got a few fish, some keeper fish. They're just small, but I think we're gonna fry them up tonight. But that little three prong, like the Hawaii sling, well, honestly, is pretty easy to use, easy to learn, easy to aim, and a ton of fun to just hunt around with. So I don't have much time, it's 3.30 already, but I'm gonna go hunt the last little bit of daylight, looking for another axis deer. And it's so cool because these guys that are, um, help me out, show me around, they love meat, man. So they're like, dude, shoot a doe. Everyone out here will take the meat and the farmers actually prefer that we shoot some doe. So if I get a chance at anything tonight with my bow, I'll shoot it. So. Tonight has been interesting. Finally out hunting with the bow. But as soon as I got to this piece of ground I can hunt that I have permission to hunt tonight, I locked the keys in the car and had no phone, no nothing. So I had to hitchhike back into town to a buddy's house and luckily they had a spare key, so I got dang lucky. And we got back with just enough time for me to go on an evening hunt. Okay, I just got set up down in this lava gulch. Got the bow. Just gonna hold tight for a minute to see if something just kinda naturally comes out and moves in front of me, or in the distance. There was a lot of deer here two nights ago, so fingers crossed that something comes back through. I jumped one doe on the way in. She blew and ran off, but uh, here's the view I got. This is a big trail coming down right here. It's an old road, but a ton of axis tracks on it and a lot of, they were out there grazing last time. I don't have the GoPro with me, so I'll probably just hunt. And if I get anything, I'll keep you guys up there. Well, no luck on my short evening hunt, but I'll tell you what, I got dang close to some does again. It's crazy. You really got to go slow and try to spot them before they spot you. And I have not yet mastered that. Looking for sheds. A lot of tracks right here. So yeah, no shots fired. But, I mean, I'm looking over the coast. And it's freaking beautiful up here, so I'm not complaining. I've been pretty lucky on this trip so far. A lot of guys have given their time and attention and knowledge. To making sure I'm having fun out here so appreciate everyone who's made this possible thank all you guys you guys know who you are I think I'll head down and get some ice for the deer meat and the cooler and then Sean's gonna cook some of those fish that we speared tonight so I'm excited to eat those <laughs> 